nerds welcome back to another bird song lesson and we're now on episode number seven and it's starting to get quite exciting because spring is literally nearly here it's starting to kind of tease us from the edges um, just around the corner and we're starting to see those first few signs and with that the birds are starting to get that little bit more flirty hey. and that little bit more vocal so we're hearing a little bit more song um, and more voices are being added to the mix as well so it's a really exciting time if you are a birdsong nerd and if you hear I reckon you are a birdsong nerd why else would you be here anyway today's songster that we're going to meet is yet another really familiar garden face and voice and um, if you've got any kind of feeder set up if you've got well any kind of garden or a park or like anywhere really these birds will survive like anywhere um, you're probably going to see it now it's often in the top 10 of the RSPB's Big Garden Bird Watch so you know you're dealing with a common one it is of course the wonderfully innuendo named Great Tit Hello. gorgeous bird beautiful looking thing and excellent name to boot I am a big fan of a Great Tit now to look at visually to identify the males and the females do look very similar pretty identical really so they've got this glossy black cap these gorgeous white cheeks and this bright yellow belly and it's got a black stripe down the middle of the tummy now in the males that black stripe is just that little bit thicker than the females that's how you can tell the difference but generally pretty similar looking between the two sexes now to listen to a song of a great tit it, it can be both very very easy and great nice easy bird to tick off and also it can be a real pain in the bum and really difficult and that might not make sense but I'm going to explain why because they're funny little birds great tits now if we have a listen to the song of a great tit a great tit is one of the few birds in the UK that has this iconic two syllable song and there are a couple of others that are really quite easy to get mixed up and I used to get them mixed up when I was starting off as well so I will be covering those species later in the series and with them I will include a comparison back to the great tit but for now, if you want to go and do your own research, the two that I used to get the most mixed up with are the coal tit, which is still pretty difficult, um, and the chiff chaff, which will hopefully be returning soon with spring. So do go and check those two out just for a little bit of a comparison. Okay, so we're going to listen to the song of the great tit, and I've got two different things to kind of notice or listen out for whilst we go, which will hopefully help you identify it. The first one is to think of the word teacher, which is a word a lot of people use to remember the song of the great tip. And that's because it's a two syllable word that kind of matches the structure of the song. So if we give it a playthrough first and just think of that little bird sat in a tree saying, teacher, 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 again and again. So you can see it's that kind of like evenly paced, teacher, 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 teacher. So it just repeats that again and again. We'll have one more listen. Teacher, 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 teacher. You can really hopefully hear that. The second thing that people think about um, is a visual. So it sounds like it's saying the word teacher, but the actual sound itself sounds a little bit like somebody pumping up an air bed with one of those air pumps. So if we listen again, you can just imagine that squeaky <laughs> airbed pump sound which is quite a nice image to do because when you're out and about that can really kind of just drill into your head that little image so it sounds quite nice and simple there two syllables teacher 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 and visualize that airbed pump great nice and easy great tip done well not quite because as i said great tits like to be a little bit difficult and they like to test even the most seasoned birdsong enthusiast of which i am not one now there's a kind of like a an in joke within people who study bird song is that in the uk if you hear a bird that's really throwing you and you don't know what on earth it is chances are it's a great tip being a pain in the bum and that's because great tips make all sorts of noises around their typical song so that's like their on brand song that you're going to hear the most um, and that should be the one nice and easy to pick out but around that they make all sorts of other weird and wonderful noises um, so it might be worth going on to the Zeno Canto website that I mentioned in my introduction and just having a listen through the kind of really diverse mix of, of wonderful sounds they make. Um, and also my online Instagram friend and fellow nature nerd Ben Porter has been doing an excellent series on YouTube looking at birdsong. Um, and he's made a homemade kind of birdsong amplifier using a plant pot, which is incredible. So go check that out. Um, and with that, he's captured in one of his videos a few of just the different jazzy mixes that great tits can make. So do go and check that out. 
Um, but otherwise, just bear that in mind. Great tips, they can be little weirdos and pains in the bum, but they can also be really nice and easy to learn. So hopefully those little hints and tips will help you pick out the song of the great tip. They're really kicking off at the moment. They really are singing their little hearts out. So get outside and have a listen. And as per, if you've got a special way of remembering it, let us know. And if you've got any questions about great tits or any of the other birds we've covered so far, do get in touch. Um, otherwise, please subscribe and like if you're enjoying. And I will see you again soon for another birdsong lesson. Bye!